Hello everybody, this is Lori Anderson, contributor with FreedomOutpost.com and Resurrect the Republic. And I wanted to share with something with you today about a the 14th Amendment. Many people ask and have asked for different documented proofs. There actually is plenty of proof out there that the 14th Amendment was never lawfully ratified and the 14th Amendment actually is not only illegal, it's unlawful. And I'm going to provide for you just one of those proofs today to kind of help you out in being able to start your education with understanding that the 14th Amendment is actually what enslaved every one of us. The 13th Amendment that we know now was the amendment to make slavery illegal and unlawful, which was absolutely wonderful. That one was actually ratified, but in reality, the number on the amendment that that should be placed in the Bill of Rights in the Constitution would actually be number 14, the 14th Amendment. The real 13th Amendment was lawfully ratified and it was never uh, amended, nor was it ever um, repealed. So what we're going to do is we're not going to go over the real 13th Amendment but in reality the real 14th Amendment is what we know now as the 13th Amendment uh, the anti-slavery amendment. The real 13th Amendment is the titles of nobility which you've probably heard quite a few or a lot of people talk about and we'll go further into detail with that on a different note and I will provide documents for you for those as well. ResurrectTheRepublic.com uh, also has a lot of those documents already provided online if you would like to see them. They're a very good source for that information as well. Today I'm going to be covering the June 13, 1967 Congressional Record for the House and it's page 15641 and so we're going to go ahead and we're going to start going over that right now. As you can see this is June 13, 1967 Congressional Record for the House. So I'm going to come down a little bit and this is exactly where it starts. Now this has very, a lot of pages on it, so obviously I'm not going to read through this whole entire document. I am going to leave you the ability to be able to download it, study it. It is imperative for you to understand this unlawful 14th Amendment is what has enslaved every one of us. It does not matter whether you are black or white, Hispanic, it doesn't matter what color you are, it doesn't matter whether you're, the, you're male or female, it doesn't matter whether you're gay or straight. The 14th Amendment is the amendment that they always use to strip our rights away. It is the amendment that they use to make unconstitutional law. So this is why it is very important to understand that, know your history, pass on the history when you know it, and teach it to our children because you know they're not going to learn this in Common Core. Okay, so the 14th Amendment, equal protection of law or to a tool of usurpation. Okay, Mr. Rarick, he was a uh, representative from Louisiana and he was speaking and he says, Mr. Speak, Mr. Speaker, arrogantly ignoring clear-cut expressions in the Constitution of the United States, the declared intent of its drafters, notwithstanding our unelected federal judges read out prohibitions of the Constitution of the United States by adopting the fuzzy haze of the 14th Amendment to legislate their personal ideas, prejudices, theories, guilt complexes, aims, and whims. And that is exactly right. That is exactly what they do. They are not elected judges. They sit in those benches. They say and do what they want for their political agendas. They move them forward and it is all unconstitutional. They use the 14th Amendment to pass these quote unquote gun rules or gun laws. It's against the Second Amendment and everybody wants to know how do they get by with that because they use the Commerce Clause. That is how they get by with it. Okay, so through the cooperation 
of intellectual educators, we have subjected ourselves to accept destructive use and meaning of words and phrases. We blindly accept new meanings and challenged values to alter our traditional thoughts. We have tolerantly permitted the habitual misuse of words to serve as a vehicle to abandon our foundations and our goals. Thus, the present use and ex expansion of the 14th Amendment is a sham serving as a crutch and hoodwink to precipitate a quasi-legal approach for overthrow of the tender balances of protections of limitation found in the Constitution. But interestingly enough, the 14th Amendment, whether ratified or not, was but the expression of emotional outpouring of public sentiment following the war between the states. Its obvious purpose and intent was but to free human beings from ownership as chattel by other humans. Its aim was no more than to free slaves. As our politically appointed federal judiciary, judiciary pretends, path of chaotic departure from the people's government by substituting their personal law. What is that? By substituting their personal law. Rationalized under the 14th Amendment, their actions and verbiage brand them and their team as secessionist rebels with pins instead of guns seeking to divide our union. They must be stopped. Public opinion must be aroused and the union must and shall be preserved. Mr. Speaker, I ask to include in the record following my remarks House Concurrent Resolution 208 of the Louisiana Legislature, urging this Congress to declare the 14th Amendment illegal. Also, I include the record as informative and well annotated treaties on the illegality of the 14th Amendment, the play toy of our secession as judges, which has been prepared by Judge Linder H. Perez of Louisiana. Now, why is that? Title of Nobility, 13th Amendment, the real one that is still ratified. It is still law. It is just not included for people to know. So important because these secessionist judges, these judges that are handpicked by the federal government and they do what they want to do uh, for their political agenda and they do not stand for the people because the title of nobility when these attorneys and lawyers are on the bench or whether they're in Congress or whether they're in the Senate or whether they're in the White House or whether they're on our courts and in our court systems and our judges that is all illegal because when they take the bar they are not um, they are subject to the crown so thus their loyalty doesn't lie just with the United States, but it lies with their quote unquote bar. Okay, so as you can see, I'm not going to go over all of this with you. I will show you. <clears throat> the proposed amendment was never ratified by three fourths of the states. Determining the ineffectiveness of said revolution, resolution as above 15 of the states out of the then 37 states of the Union rejected the proposed 14th Amendment between the date of its submission to the states by the Secretary of State on June 16, 1866 and March 24, 1868, therefore nullifying said resolution and making it impossible for its ratification by the constitutionally required three-fourths of such states as shown by the rejections thereof by the legislatures of the following states Texas Georgia Florida Alabama North Carolina Arkansas Kentucky Virginia Louisiana Delaware Maryland Mississippi Ohio and New Jersey all rejected the 14th Amendment President Andrew Johnson, on his, in his veto message of March the 2nd of 1867, pointed out that, quote, It is not denied that the states in question have each of them an actual government with all the powers executive, judicial, and legislative. 
which properly belong to a free state. They are organized like the other states of the Union, and like them, they make, administer, and execute the laws which concern their domestic affairs. Okay, so I'm going to scroll down, and I'm going to read this, and then I am going to conclude the video and let you actually pull this video, download this video, educate yourself. It is extremely important that you understand the 14th Amendment was never lawfully ratified. It is unconstitutional. It is null and void. This is how they are getting the EPA, the BLM, the, the TSA, the NSA, all of this stuff, the gun laws, every freaking law that you can think of that violates any parts of our constitutional rights, it's coming through that 14th Amendment. So it's important that the people wake up and understand this, provide the proof, provide the documents, and fight back with truth. Quote, if ever the American citizen should be left to the free exercise of his own judgment, it is when he is engaged in the work of forming the fundamental law under which he is to live. That work is his work, and it cannot properly be taken out of his hands. All this legislation proceeds upon the contrary assumption that the people of each of these states shall have no constitution except such as may be arbitrarily dictated by Congress and formed under the restraint of military rule. A plain statement of facts makes this evident on, the, on us by the Constitution and waited for legislative interposition to supersede our action and relieve us from responsibility. I am not willing to be partaker of the eulogy or the opium that may follow. I can only say I am ashamed that such opium should be cast upon the court and it cannot be refuted. Ten states were organized into military districts under the Unconstitutional Reconstruction Acts. Their lawfully constituted legislator, e legislature illegally were removed by military force and they were replaced by rump so-called legislatures, seven of which carried out military orders and pretended to ratify the 14th Amendment as follows. That would have been in the states of Arkansas, North Carolina, Florida, Louisiana, South Carolina, and Alabama and Georgia. Of the above seven states whose legislatures were removed and replaced by rump so-called legislatures, six legislatures of the states of Louisiana, Arkansas, South Carolina, Alabama, North Carolina, and Georgia had ratified the 13th Amendment, as shown by the Secretary of the State Proclamation of December 18th of 1865, without which six states' ratifications, the 13th Amendment, could not and would not have been ratified because said six states made a total of 27 out of 36 states, or exactly three-fourths of the number required by Article 5 of the Constitution for ratification. So it's also important to understand, without the southern states saying, yes, we want that 13th Amendment, we, we want that amendment to not allow any slavery, the southern states, yet how many in Black Lives Matter or any other movement continuously say the South, oh, they were so racist. They were so horrible. Learn your real history. That war wasn't about slavery. Okay, so... I am going to include for you the Congressional House record of June 13th of 1967, number 15645. I know that this is not um, my normal type of video, but I feel like I need to start doing some educating as well as news, as well as speaking out, because education is imperative to saving our republic and our union. Um, 
I think one of the other important factors that, that I tend to uh, really harp on and, and for people to, to really understand. We're not one nation. We never have been one nation. Even how uh, we say one nation under God indivisible. We are not one nation. We are many nations that came together in union. Which means we came together in agreement. And the Many people do not realize this, and they're like, oh, no, that doesn't mean anything. Yes, because back in the day, state meant nation. Okay, that's why we were also called nation states. That's why we also said we were free and independent states, or we were free, independent, and sovereign states. Okay, this is one of the reasons. Many people do not realize, if you go to each state within our union, each one of these states has a constitution. Why? Because the Constitution, the meaning of Constitution, is bylaws that govern a nation. There are different laws and different rules in each state that govern that nation. That state is a nation. And we are a union of nations working together in unity for the common defense. And the federal government doesn't want you to know that. So... I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you like educational videos like this, please feel free to let me know. Uh, I'll be glad to share more videos like this with you. Um, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Uh, let me know if you like the topics that I'm covering in the box below. Until next time, thank you. God bless you. Please share. And uh, Semper Fidelis.